and to details. President Abdel Fattah Sisi gave his directives on Thursday to concentrate on projects of the Suez Canal Economic Zone with the aim of localizing technology and owing the industrial capability as well as offering new work opportunities. This came during the President's meeting with Prime Minister Dr. Mustafa Madbouli and head of the Suez Canal Economic Zone, Engineer Mohamed Yahya Zaki. In another meeting with Madbouli and head of the Suez Canal Authority, Vice Admiral Osama Rabia, President Sisi reviewed a number of projects to develop the canal as well as the outcome of investigations over evergreen ships grounding in Suez Canal. President Abdel Fattah Sisi instructed on Thursday to send medical aid to Tunisia and offer solidarity with Tunisian people in various crises. A military plane carrying medical aid from the Ministry of Health and Population took off from Eastern Cairo base and headed to Tunisia. Such aid reflects deep historic and distinguished ties that bind the two nations as well as appreciation and respect at the two peoples level. Prime Minister Dr. Mustafa Madbouli expressed hope on Thursday that the Egyptian-Tunisian Higher Cooperation Committee would convene as soon as possible. During his meeting with Tunisian Ambassador to Egypt, Mohammed bin Youssef, the Prime Minister hailed the Tunisian stances in support of Arab causes. Madbouli also expressed his appreciation for the Tunisian supportive stance regarding Ethiopian disputed dam file. For his part, the Tunisian Ambassadors hailed the outcome of the latest visit paid by Tunisian President to Cairo. Two-day consultations between Egypt and Turkey concluded in Cairo on Thursday, during which the two sides propped steps needed to normalize ties. A joint statement described the discussions as frank and in-depth. It said the talks addressed bilateral issues, as well as a number of regional issues, in particular the situation in Libya, Syria, Iraq, and the need to achieve peace and security in the eastern Mediterranean region. According to the statement, the two sides will evaluate the outcome of this round of consultations and agree on the next steps. The Egyptian team was led by Deputy Foreign Minister Hamdi Loza, while the Turkish delegation was headed by Deputy Foreign Minister Sidat Unal. To details. Egypt's stock market indices sought being bolstered by purchasing operations by Arab and foreign investors. The main EGX 30 index added 0.72%. The small and medium EGX 70 index sought 0.34%. The more expanded EGX 100 index added 0.43%. The overall transactions and dealings within the session reached 1.6 billion pounds.